Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thanks to everyone for joining this call today. I'm Harsh Kumar, Product Manager on ITOM. In this presentation, I'll talk to you how ServiceNow is revolutionizing IT with agents and show you how to automate discovery of Log4j and enrich the security incidents with agent client collector. What if there was one agent that could do it all? With our new agent client collector, security incidents response capability provides all-in-one security incident enrichment tool for any type of security incident. Once the agent is enrolled, it will not just do discovery and monitoring, you can investigate a security incident by running real-time queries for file system, processes, services, and more. These days, customers need to have solid plans for detecting and responding to sophisticated threats. Otherwise, they are taking a big risk. With Agent Client Collector, customer can level up their threat response plan with best-in-class capability for investigating malicious behavior mapped to Mitra attack framework. Moreover, OS Query is bundled with our agent to make it easier for customer to check compliance and audit requirements and gain key operational visibility. Today, I'll show you three ways to detect Log4j. One is running processes with agent-less discovery. Two is via file-based discovery to scan respective folders for Log4j spray. Three, use our new agent client collector security incident response app to detect Log4j and run MITRE playbooks. Now, without further ado, Let's get to the demo. Before I run quick discovery and discover the running processes, let me go to discovery configuration console and see if the file-based discovery is enabled. So let me go to the discovery console and I see that file-based discovery is enabled. And I also see, okay, the folder to scan is temp folder. And also I bring the file-based discovery data every time. Okay, now the file-based discovery is enabled. Now let me go ahead and run a quick discovery on one of the target IPs that I have. Now, when I run this quick discovery, I could check for two things. One is the running processes information. And also, since I have file discovery enabled, I could basically check for files present in my temp folder for log for Jefferson's. Once the discovery is completed, we could go to the CI and we could see the related information to see for log for Jefferson's. So let me go to the CI that has been discovered. So it's a Linux server that has been discovered. That's right. Now, um, let me go to file information. As you can see in the file information, log4j has been discovered in the temp folder. And then let me go to running processes. And in the running processes, I could search for log4j. As you can see, log4j has been used by the running processes. I think it's a log stash software, which is using that, okay? And also I could check log4j presence across my environments by just simply going to discovery running processes and searching for log4j in the parameter. Now this gives me end-to-end -end visibility across my environment of all the running processes which are using log4j. Now, 
let me go to my third option, which is basically using security incident response app that we built recently and we shipped recently, sorry, uh, to discover or detect log4j presence and also to see for any other mitre attacks. Now, let me go to the security incident response app. So once the customer downloads the security incident response app, agent client collector security incident response app, they'll start seeing these sections. Now, when I say these section is basically a customer can configure OS queries for a security analyst to run. And also they could configure the commands for a security analyst to run. So in this case, so I have configured all these OS queries for a security analyst to run when they get into a security incident record. And also they could run all these commands. Now, let me go to a security incident and run an OS query to detect log4j. So before that, I wanna show you uh, uh, the log4j query that I'm using. So this is a simple log4j query for detecting log4j presence in the running processes and basically detecting um, uh, the process, the, the name, and so on and so forth uh, for log4j for, log presence. So let me run this query on a security incident response, uh, security incident record to see for log4j presence. So let me go ahead and go to a security incident. So I have, so for this CI, so let me filter this by CI. So for the CI, as you can see, there are two security incidents. One is log4j file may exist on this particular CI. I'll check for that. And also there's a malicious process running. So let me do both. Let me uh, use agent client collector security incident response app to detect for processes, malicious processes, and also log4j. First, let me show you the log4j one. So I go to a security incident record, which is saying log4j. And let me go to the bottom. In the related links, the security analyst will start seeing something called agent client collector capabilities. They could pick that. And in, in the capabilities, they could choose run OS query on agent and pick the log4j detection and submit. And they will start seeing, let's see. They'll start seeing the log4j presence and they will, it will tell you which path um, they have the log4j. So, so as you can see, this is the path for the log4j and the command line is pretty big and customer can take this command line to see the log4j exact paths. You know, in this case, uh, log4j is present. I would go to, as a security analyst, I would go to that particular uh, folder or file, and then I would remove log4j from there. And also I would shut down the running processes as well. Now, before, let me go to the next security incident on the CI is uh, this one. Now, in this case, it's basically malicious process running on this machine. So let me go to agent client collector capabilities and run a MITRE attack playbook. So I have a, in the OS query, I have a MITRE attack that would basically detect for a malicious process running on the machine. Let me run this OS query for running, for detecting malicious processes. And let me go to the work notes. Oh, the data has come. So it basically says system D is basically running services on my system, which is system D is a malicious pattern process running my child process services.exe. Services.exe should be run by winit.exe always. So this is the malicious process which is running on my machine. So with that, I could basically use agent client collector to run MITRE playbooks to detect log4j and more. 
So with that, um, I want to end this demo. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Gone. Thanks for watching. Look forward to workflow IT together. Thank you.